say to the person next to you, you got something. You got something. Hallelujah. Sit quickly. Now listen quickly. The last portion of this is you got something, but many times you don't realize that you've got something because there's not a spiritual word from heaven. Today you receive that word from heaven. But listen to this. Any preacher or prophet, no one is all-knowing. Not a preacher and not a prophet is all-knowing. A preacher and a prophet can only speak what is being revealed to him from heaven. Amen. So many times you might think a prophet is all-knowing. He's not all-knowing. He can only know what is being revealed to him from heaven. Amen. You understand? The prophet Elijah has got a word from heaven to the widow with the oil and the little flower. Little oil, little flower. Say, little oil, little flower. In her eyes, she had nothing. When you meet what you've got with the word from heaven, when those two meet, all of a sudden, it, it's get, getting recreated into a miracle. So there's not a person with something in his hand who can, that can bless himself. You always need a word from heaven on the something that you've got to reveal to you that the something you've got can be developed into something awesome. And you receive that this morning, not from me. It's only coming through me. It is from Jesus. Jesus is the last Adam, the Bible says, is a life-giving spirit. Elijah had the same life-giving spirit of God in his mouth. And Elisha too. And who, whatever prophet has given words to people, like Jesus with the, with the apostles on two occasions, what do you got to give to the people? They said, Lord, send the people home. There's no shops nearby. We are here far in the bush, on the desert. There's no shops nearby. Send the people home. They are hungry. Jesus says to them, give them something. Lord, we do not have, we got nothing except, saying nothing in their eyes. This is what I want to say to you now. Many times, and most of the time, and, and I want to say always, when you do not get the prophetic word from heaven, you got nothing. But, a little money, a little this, a little this. And your eyes, it's a little something. But when you meet that little something with a prophetic word from heaven, Jesus is the life-giving spirit. Say the life-giving spirit. That can even raise the dead. Woo! Amen. I say that can even raise the dead. When that life-giving spirit of Jesus, that in the Old Testament worked through the prophets, and the New Testament by himself, and now also through his preachers globally, but as Jesus speaking through his preachers, meet with your seemingly nothing. A, a miracle is created when you believe in Jesus' name. That's what I want to pray. You've received the word from heaven. Some of you is a little bit asleep. I'll get you awake now. You don't really receive in your spirit what I give to you. But you're going to do so in Jesus' name. Amen. You're going to do so in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every one of you got something. He asked them, what do you got? Nothing but a little fish, a couple of fish and bread. Jesus said, bring that here. It happened on two occasions. Bring that here. Father, I bless the food. And it got multiplied and it started to give to the people and 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 give to the people. To the people. There was more than enough. They picked up many baskets afterwards of the leftovers. Enough to fill the whole Kentucky Fried Chicken. Give God in. <laughs> Amen. Amen. To their eyes, they had nothing. To the widow, with the little flour and little oil, she had nothing but. Say nothing but. 
said, Jesus, meeting with that butt. Woo! You bring that little thing to him. You see what he will do. Amen. Amen. Now pray with me, Lord God. What I've got, I will bring you this morning. I will give you my all. I know you will give me more than all. Because you will multiply my something into a miraculous power. In Jesus' name. Now today you might be a clerk at the department. You are satisfied being a clerk. You just be a clerk now. A clerk. You know, it is not bad to be a clerk. But if you have been faithful as a clock and you bring that something to Jesus, he can make that all that you give him. He can give you more than all. In Jesus' name. It is not bad to be a clock. It is not a bad job. But God can do something with that. Give him man. In the name of Jesus. If, if God finds you faithful, he can do something with what you've got. Today you might be a teacher, which is, which is not bad at all. I respect and honor teachers greatly. I love teachers. Although they did not love me so much at school. Amen. <laughs> but they do an extremely important work. One of the most important jobs you can do is preparing youth for their future. You remember that before you criticize teachers. And if you are faithful, what can God do? If he's willing, you bring him your all. He will give you more than all. You might become a, a principal of a school or an inspector. Like there's some, some in our midst. Where did you start, friend? Where did you start? I said, teacher, bring me a mic, please. You started as a teacher. When you received Jesus, what were you then? At when that, the time when you, when you gave your heart to Jesus, what were you then? I was a school inspector. You were a school inspector yes. then already? Yes. But look what the Lord is doing. You've taken your work faithfully. Yes. And as you showed yourself faithful, you have given God your all. Yes. And God has given you more, to all, more, more than all. More than all. Today you're an, you're an inspector. Yes. Give God a hand. Amen. What are you today? <laughs> what are you today? Also a school inspector. A school inspector too. Where did you start? I said teacher. I said teacher. I wonder what it was like <laughs> to be in your class. <laughs> was it very good? You did your job well? Very. You did it for the Lord? Very and very straight. Very and very straight. Today you're a school inspector. We got now two school inspectors in our church. Give God a hand. What, what, what? What, what is the job you do? Well, um, a chief education specialist, a manager for a sub-directorate in the department at a district level. Uh. Hey. But I started as a teacher. You it. started as a teacher? <laughs> yes. Give God a hand. <laughs> Where's the other inspectors? The one that lost too much there. The other inspectors, stand up there. I want to see you, please. <laughs> Where's the other inspectors? Come here. Come here. Are you a school inspector? Where did you start? I started as a CS1 educator, but I was born again, then God lifted me up. I was the youngest head of department. The then youngest I, head of department? Yes, then I moved step ahead to a deputy principal. Then I was appointed the second manager. So you have given God your all? Yes. He has given you more than all? <laughs> he will give you more. He will give you more. 
Today you might be something small in your own eyes. Who would know what God can do, you know? Where did you think the premiers started? Huh? Where do you think they started? Huh? Give God a hand. Hallelujah. There's more examples in our midst. Many, many, many. If you are faithful, you will see what the Lord will do. You might say, ah, it's because they had friends because of this. Listen, God is the one who promotes. If God is not the one who promotes, he will take them away again. Amen. Give him a hand. 